Okay, I'm gonna do something that doctors don't do often and I'm going to admit that I actually got lazy and didn't look into something and potentially wasted a couple dollars on buying some vitamins that I might not actually have a statistical benefit from using. Today we're gonna to talk about the AREDS trial. You may have seen these eye vitamins uh, when you go to the pharmacy because they sell them now as FDA approved treatment uh, for reducing risk of macular degeneration or eye disease. Uh, so AREDS stands for Age Related Eye Disease and there are two specific trials that the National Eye Institute went through and we're gonna talk about that and explain to you why I might have wasted some money on some vitamins that I might not have actually needed and um, we'll go from there. Here we go. So uh, macular degeneration, um, eye disease, uh, central vision loss, um, those are all kind of terms that kind of get thrown around somewhat interchangeably, although they're not the exact same thing from a medical standpoint. Um, and we were looking at ways to try and reduce risks of that. And they started looking at what sort of supplementation might be able to cut down those risks. And so they came up with the AREDS trial. And when they looked at one of the formulations, they realized that some people who already had a high risk of developing advanced macular degeneration had like a 25% risk reduction over placebo if they were using this, uh, this vitamin supplementation, the AREDS um, supplementation formulation. And that was a pretty big one. And then they also found beyond just the general status of advanced macular degeneration that folks had a 19% over placebo, 19% risk reduction of developing central vision loss. So there's actually a specific vision test that you can take for this sort of thing. And I'm gonna put this up on the screen. And so what you're looking at there is a white grid, a white background, just black grid lines, and that is a perfect just box of squares. Now, if you're looking at that and you're saying, hey, I can't see all the squares or, some, or whole sections of that are wavy and squiggly, uh, at that point, you should definitely be going to talk to an eye doctor because that's one of the things that we can do to track uh, progression of that is folks will literally just put it up on their fridge so they can take a look at it all the time and that will help us get an idea of, you know, on a functional level how their vision is doing. So we saw that these AREDS vitamins did good, but here's the thing and here's where I got lazy. I was walking to the store and I said like, oh, FDA approved for that. You know, I'm gonna buy me some eye vitamins and I went and bought them and I've been taking them for a few months now and I didn't go looking through it. And then I realized, hey, I'm gonna talk about these eye vitamins in a video, let me get looking into this. And it turns out that I don't actually statistically qualify as needing them because my risk of developing age-related eye disease um, is so low because I don't already have it, okay? The, the big risk factors are being significantly older, you know, as you get drifting into like your 60s, 70s, 80s. Um, smokers, uh, neither of those apply to me right yet. Um, not that I'm gonna start smoking, but someday I hope to be 70 or 80. And um, I don't qualify as a high enough risk. And the AREDS trial showed that people who weren't already an intermediate uh, stage of this, uh, this disease developing, they didn't actually have statistical benefit because the odds of going to advance in the time frame of the trial from no or from very mild disease was so low that taking the vitamins didn't actually matter. Um, but if you already had some intermediate disease or you had advanced disease only in one eye, that these, this vitamin formulation worked out really, really well. The other thing is they started to look at like, well, what sort of other tweaks could we make to this formula? And they did the AREDS2 trial and they came and they did a whole bunch of uh, different variations there. And the one thing that really stood out, and this is a big one, they found that people who were prior or were smokers, if they were taking the beta carotene version of this uh, new AREDS2 formulation, actually had a significantly higher risk of lung cancer. And so there, you'll find if you start Googling beta carotene and lung cancer for smokers, you'll find lots of warnings. And there are other studies that back this up that it's a potential risk. Um, they're a little inconclusive because there's some that disagree and some that agree, but enough that it's a pretty consistent warning. And they stopped doing the formulation for smokers of the beta carotene included AREDS formula. This is me making a whole video to explain to you that I bought some vitamins that statistically might not be of benefit to me. Uh, but if you are someone who's at a higher risk or you've already got some, um, some confirmed macular degeneration, you're, you're uh, a higher risk person, AREDS might be a thing that works for you to cut down your risk. Now, this does not stop 
This does not cure. This slows down and hopefully delays the onset of advanced disease. We currently do not have a true cure for that yet. Hopefully in the future, uh, maybe the National Eye Institute will come up with something next. But uh, I just wanted to explain this to you. If you are someone who fits for AREDS, I'll put some links below where you can buy it. Uh, you can even look into it. I'll link all the studies that I reference so that you can kind of nerd out as well. And just remember, just because it says doctor approved on it, uh, on, a, on a label, doesn't mean it's statistically a benefit to you. You got to look into it a little bit further. Uh, every now and then, even doctors get it wrong. Have a good day.